it's your girl Fairy Queens here and welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Today I am here with Emily Knight and if you don't know who she is, she is one of the best Wizard 101 house decorators. Today she is giving me an exclusive tour on her brand new house. I feel so honored to be one of the first people to tour this. I have toured several other of her houses before and she has seriously never disappointed. She is so talented and I cannot not wait to see what she's been working on. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So here we are in the entrance to Aphrodite's chambers. She told me I can pick whichever side I want to do first, so I'll choose this side. So this is actually my first build ever, and I updated it a little after we got the 400 item cap. But I like the idea of having that comparison of the oldest versus most recent. I was gonna say, this looks kind of familiar, like I think I've viewed this before. <gasps> Oh my gosh! The way that the gates just opened! Oh, that's so cool! This is literally so pretty. I feel like she's definitely updated this a little bit since last time I saw it. So down here is essentially a floral pond with a swan ride. And you can get in it! I like to do a lot of symbolism and this time around for Aphrodite. I wanted a lot of roses, swan, dove, and bubbles and shells. The vibe out here is like a rooftop garden, I would say. I would say that is spot on. It's so pretty. I love it. I love the sky too. It just like really ties it all in together. Oh, and the lights up there. Aw, and you can sit and enjoy the view. It's so pretty. I also like doing a lot of level variation, so I updated it to include that. Makes everything more dynamic. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, look at the little dove. So cute. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is, okay. Aw. Here we have a little garden date spot, and some flower beds, and of course the iconic tree swing moments. I remember when these used to be a thing before advanced movement, you had to like stack them on crates, it was really difficult. Oh wow, I love that rotating orb up there above the statue. That is such a pretty pond. And now we can go inside to the real fun stuff. Oh, as if this wasn't already great. I'm gonna be shocked. I mean, I can already- uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be shocked because I'm already like in awe, but I'm gonna be shocked. I can just tell. Here we are back at the entrance. If you fall through the floor, don't be alarmed. <laughs> okay. The interior is built above ground, so there's a chance that you'll fall. But I have teleporters on the ground to catch you if that happens. Oh, thank you. She's very prepared. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. And here we have the dot 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 <laughs> bedrooms. <gasps> what? Oh my god. What? Oh my god. I'm 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 shook. Constructed in the top of the botanical garden interior. So I could use the stained glass dome. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I wanna lay on this bed. I wanna lay on it. Fitting my architecture into the dome was the biggest challenge in here, to be honest. But I have everything in here to fit your, ah, romantic needs. <gasps> oh, look at us in bed together! <laughs> the way that this is gonna probably be the thumbnail. A little rope, some chains, a little screeching griffin. Yeah, I, I think... I think we can use our imagination. I think we know what this bed is for, and I think we know what those chains are for too. <laughs> the freaking rope. I'm dead. <laughs> the bed activities are on cloud nine. Get it? Because they're on a cloud. I get it. And a lot of candles to set the mood. Yeah, a lot. Like, a ton of candles. This is so beautiful. Aw, look in the fireplace. So you have to pay attention to even the little details here. Up here is our little lovely indoor garden, making use of the greenhouse. I would 100% uh, sleep in this bed. <laughs> and I also painstakingly put a rose stained glass window in almost every arch. I bet that took forever. I also used about 30 dressers with flowers for a pink floor trim. Oh, so that's what that is. I was wondering, trying to get as much pink as possible incorporated into the build. And unfortunately, King's Isle hates pink. Yeah, yeah, they do. That's why boys aren't allowed to wear pink. And it's my favorite color. 
I think you managed really well. Here's some more flowers. The main colors I wanted to use were pink, red, gold, and white, as those are more of the official Aphrodite colors. But this tan floor worked out super well too. And given as she's the goddess of beauty, she of course needs a rockin' closet. Oh my god. Wow. That is so cute. That's literally so cute. Look at all of that. I'm literally shook. In lots of mirrors. This is so pretty. I want to live here so bad. I wanted it to be very open concept so everything is on display, which was challenging to do as everything has to look good from every angle. I also use these green walls to blend in more with the green glass ceiling. Oh my gosh. She is a stone obelisk. She's so talented. I would have never thought to do this. Like I wouldn't have even known where to start, honestly, the way that she is so creative. And on this side, we have the makeup vanity and the entrance to the bathroom. Oh look, the little geese, they're hugging. They love each other. I'm gonna go in. <gasps> oh my God! Look, she even made these little pillows into hearts. Or maybe they're supposed to be tile. I think they're supposed to be tile, but whatever they are, she made them into hearts. Here's the bathroom. I. I want this so bad. A custom mosaic on the floor with red cushions to form heart shapes. That's the first thing I noticed. Oh my God. I want this to be my bathroom. I want to live here so bad. Like, why isn't this my house? And I'm most proud of the sink. Layer together about 20 items to make it. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. It's a sink for him and her. I like how Medusa turns on at the same time as the sinks. More of the pink floor trim and I lucked out in finding a wall trim item as well. Then of course the scattered hearts on the wall. I love how you even had different colors. This is so beautiful. And a custom mirror with hearts. Oh my god. How are you so talented? Guys, I don't think you understand. Look at this. Look at this. Which sadly we can't see ourselves in. Yeah, but it's still like, it looks like it's like a reflection. If you've even tried to decorate, you know how hard it is to make even basic stuff look good, but she literally made this from scratch. Oh my god. Here's the shower, so I'm going to pull the lever to open it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. I think this is literally the first shower I've ever seen in game before. And it's got the shampoo. And it even has the little shower drain. Put caramel posters on the wall for an extra glossy sheen. That is so cool. I've never seen anything like this before in game, ever. And it's so big, I love it. Little shelf moment built into the wall. And a toilet. And a toilet paper dispenser. Every bathroom does need a toilet. Layering the clam chair, burrower pots, and an Nimbari chest for the base and trunk a fountain to use as water. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the water there. I hope you guys pay attention to these little details cause she deserves the recognition. And finally, <gasps> is that me and Troy? Is that me and Troy? Oh my God. <laughs> is that me and Troy? Oh my God. I think it's me and Troy. There's a button there whenever you want it. Oh my gosh, wait. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna press the button. I'm gonna press the button. Oh, oh my god, he kissed my forehead. <laughs> Emily. Oh my god. I'm literally. <laughs> I'm literally smiling so hard. Oh my god. You just made my night. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. She is so sweet. Thank you so much for adding us. I loved it. Okay guys, well that is the end of the tour. Emily Knight has done it once again. I knew I wasn't going to be let down, but oh my god. Like... <laughs> I made a debut in her house!
and tried it too. She's so sweet. I really was not expecting that at all. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tour. And Emily, thank you so much for letting me view it. And thank you so much for putting me in there. What part was the most impressive to you guys? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!